is Australia. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Adelaide ends with E. Then? E. Egypt. T. Tanzania. Tanzania. Again with K. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll lost the battle. At least. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are we already live? Yeah, I think so. Are we already know. live? Hi. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but the topic is let's play Atlas. Yeah. So we were playing let's play Atlas. <laughs> sorry. Yes. No, yeah, they have guessed that we are playing Atlas. Yeah, we were just trying to remember. Good the evening. Names. How are y'all? Hi, hi Lakshit. Hi Kushagra. Hi Bhumika. Hi Dwalima. Hi Anu. So many. So of many of them. Gun Gun. Hi again. Ananya, my God, so many of yes. them have come, no? And you, and you caught us also playing Atlas. <laughs> hi, hi, Samyukta. Hello. So I, uh, so I think we can clearly assume that we can be seen and heard. Yeah. I don't think we need to even ask them can we be seen and heard. Yeah, we were. Okay, so good evening to our session, which is I'll let Ankita ma'am announce it. <laughs> yes, good evening everyone. Welcome to on both the channels. I should move maybe this way so that they can see. Ha, yeah. So what we have today is let's play Atlas with us. Yeah, yes. let's play Atlas, which is what we were doing. Yeah, <laughs> and it's such an interesting and such a cool game, right? If you're sitting in it a is. class. It is, it is, it is. Actually, it's actually a lot of fun. Do you know, this is one of my favorite games. The other day we had gone for a picnic over oh. the weekend uh, and uh, on the way back, uh, instead of listening to music, we said, let's let's play uh, Atlas. And just like what happened to us just now, we I landed up at so many places with A and N. And I just could not think. A to yeah. A, mm. yeah. A and N. Have you all ever played Atlas before? Antarakshri Lirubu. Hi, Shivang. Hello, everyone. <laughs> all right. Uh, Avni says, Tarana, ma'am, you went to the North Pole. Yes, I went to the North Pole. I'm back. Very happy to see all of you over here. Very happy to be back with Ankita ma'am also. And very happy to see all of you. Nice. Okay. So, are you all ready or no? I think they're not ready. They're not going to start until you give us thumbs ups to say that you all are ready. Come on, come on, come on. Are you all ready or no? Somebody is saying that they're ready only. Yes, yes, everyone, give a thumbs up or a, let's have a smiley chain. Yes. Yes, ready, ready, ready. Thumbs up, ready, thumbs, ready, thumbs, ready, thumbs, good. thumbs up, thumbs up. Yay. All right, then let's start. Okay, so I will let Ankita ma'am do the honors. Yes. So what we have, before we start, I would request, okay, I can see few of you, few of you are here. Everyone call out your friends. Quick, ask them quickly to join the session. Join the session. We're playing Atlas. Come on. It's, it's an interesting lot of session. Fun. Yeah. yeah, it's a very, very interesting session. So please make sure to ask your friends to quickly join the session. And in meanwhile, when you, when you all are here, if you're new here, please do take a moment and subscribe to amazing, amazing channel that we have, right? We're talking about both the channels. So please do subscribe to the both yes, the channels. Yes, 9th and 10th as well as 6 to 8th. Most importantly for all of you, we have created a very, very special playlist because your exams are just around the corner. Yes. To make sure you have all the chapters, different types of sessions that we have done. So please make sure to check out this amazing playlist on both the channels for this is for 9th and 10th and we have it for 6th and 8th also. Check it out. It's very, very important for your exams, please. Sometimes instead of searching, where is this video? Where is that video? It's all in one place for you yeah. to study, for you to take a look at. It forms a very good, uh, you know, playlist for your revision. Uh, it's very good if you want to find all the videos in one place. And it's always very to go good to go and revisit the videos and learn your concepts in a better way basically so please definitely visit the playlist okay yes pro gamer i remember you all right yes. okay everyone so i hope that you all are ready congratulations see. shiva kumar on your quiz yes so we are ready everyone let's see how ready you are all right are you ready to play atlas come on we should have like a big drum roll, drum roll. Drum roll. Let us start. Hi Siddharth, welcome. Okay, Gungun says ready. All of them are saying yes, 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 yes. Okay, so uh, should we just yes. announce, should we just tell them what we're going to do How? first? Yes. So as you can see, we have round one, which is spot the state. So we are starting with our country, right? And we have different chits, right, with us. Hamara Bharat Mahan. Yes, yes. Right. So basically, we have some chits. 
and we have to uh, ankita ma'am is going to pick up one and then whatever she picks up she has to guess whatever i pick up i have to guess and you all have to help us because just in case we are stuck somewhere then that is where we are relying on you okay all right right yeah. yes ma'am this okay. is very interesting but let me tell you one thing everyone now of course we are learning in this but as we were discussing this is important from your exam point of yes, view yes this is very important from your exam point of view you know that maps are very important they are a very important part of social science also and they are very important part of general knowledge yes more importantly than anything else so we are going to be asking you questions apart from playing the games ourselves and including you of course we're going to be asking you questions also so please answer chat pat yes yeah Okay, Sorry. so round number one. Okay, round number one, ma'am. And okay. who's picking up? Shall I pick up first? Ha. Huh. Shall Good. I pick up first? Ha. Yes. You I'm nervous. Okay, so I am going to. This is spot the state, ha. Huh? Which means on the India map, I have to spot the state. And the state that I have is. Can I, uh, can I see? No. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, I'll be reading it. Chalo, ha, you yeah. can see. No problem. But I have to do this. Okay. okay? Yes. And the state is. Uttarakhand. I got Uttarakhand. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, can you show me the map, uh, Ankita, ma'am? Yes. And here you go. Uttarakhand. I know Uttarakhand. So, as I understand it, is this pen working? First of all, let yes. me just see it is. Ha, it is. Okay, it is working. Okay. So, as I understand, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh are very close to each other. Yes. In fact. they were split into yes. two right yeah. so this over here is uttar pradesh this much i know so this over here here has to be uttarakhand am i right yes or no come on come on come on am i right correct or wrong yes please, everyone please. Okay. am i correct please tell me whether i'm correct Yes, top of Uttar Pradesh. That's what I did. Exactly. Yes, yes, very yes. Good. Very good. Oh, very good. yes. Thank yeah. you very much. So, before we move on to Ankita, ma'am, actually, you know, the picking her shit, we want you to tell us some important things about uh, Uttarakhand. What is Uttarakhand known for? Yes. What can you tell us? Some important facts about Uttarakhand. Uh, Ria says she's from Uttarakhand. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so, Ria, then you will definitely know. Huh. Come on, come on, come on. um give us some important facts about uttarakhand what was uttarakhand first known as okay first thing it's a some state is, yeah some people say <laughs> so we are saying jim corbett ha we have then, jim corbett then i think jim corbett national park then they mentioned about the there the capital is there dehradun there dehradun yes but capital dehradun is the winter capital hmm. what is the what is the summer capital oh yeah there is a summer capital also oh yes because it's we have It what is the summer cold. capital come on what is the summer capital of uh, uttarakhand see so many so many answers we are getting what is the summer capital come on there was a severe cloud burst <laughs> over there uttarakhand is known for its wildlife absolutely right yes. come on come on no it is not rachi it is not rachi what is it what is the what is the uh, summer capital i don't know is it Somebody. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write this down for you. Correct. We see that gamer shrine has given us the correct answer. What is the correct answer? You'll have to help me pronounce it. I always have a tough time pronouncing it. It is Bara Ra Bharat. No, Bara Ra is Ra Rison. One minute. I'm going to write. I can spell it better oh. than I can write it. Hold on. भरी सारन मतलब ऐसे बोलेंगे भरी सारन ऐसे आई फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू प्रोनाउंस दिस करेक्ट सी द स्पेलिंग इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट ओवर देयर आल्सो हां आई फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू प्रोनाउंस द नेम्स ऑफ द सिटी व्हिच आर देयर इन साउथ लाइक दे हैव वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड या आई फाइंड इट इन जनरल एवरी टाइम आई सी अ लॉन्ग नेम इवन इफ आई नो इट आई स्टार्ट सेकंड गेसिंग माय सेल्फ ओके ऑल राइट ग्रेट 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 ये वी गेट द आंसर ओवर देयर ऑल राइट देन सो वी हैव एंड इट वाज फॉर्मली नोन एज व्हाट उत्तराचल दिस वाज फॉर्मली नोन एज उत्तराचल एब्सोल्युटली राइट ओके कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड शुड वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वन आई विल पिक एंड या सो व्हाट आई हैव ओवर हियर आई विल मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो दैट यू कैन मार्क इट ओवर देयर नाइसली नेक्स्ट वन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एवरीवन यू टेल मी लाइक आई विल गिव यू अ हिंट एंड आई एम श्योर यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर आई एम The hint that we have is that I also guess. I also guess. The hint is that it is known as a rising 
basically the first sunrise that we have in our country is there. I know, I know, I know, I know where the first sunrise of the country happens. Who I mean, knows? Ah, very good, very good. We see good. the correct answer coming it's up over Arunachal there. Pradesh. It is Arunachal Pradesh. Absolutely right. So we know it is Arunachal Pradesh, but can you mark it on the map? Yes. So over here we have. Yeah, Arunachal so Pradesh is there. To the east, right? Extreme yeah, extreme east. east yes, because that's where the sun yeah. hits the country first. Now it will be difficult for me to write, but no, I'm I'll, I'll, I'll write it down for yeah. you. One minute, one minute. I'm I'll write so it. For us to no, no, one minute. <laughs> that I can write. Anyway, I'm better at the uh, writing down. Arunachal so, Pradesh. Yes. Pradesh. Very good, everyone. And of course, we know that the Brahmaputra enters our country from there. Correct. So, yeah. Good. Yes. Anything else about Arunachal Pradesh? What are the other things that you all can tell us? It's known for many monasteries. It's known for many forests. Come on, what else? What else can you tell us about Arunachal Pradesh? Yes, it's on the easternmost side. Absolutely yeah. right. Then? Capital is Itanagar, they are saying. Correct, correct, correct. Absolutely right. Okay, so, anything else? No, I think, and of course, it's a part of the Seven Sisters. Yes, 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 very good. yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay, it's got a lot of lakes also, by the way. Ha, huh, very clean lakes. Yeah, yes. in fact, it's supposed to be beautiful. I've yeah. always wanted to go to Arunachal Pradesh. It's just never happened, but uh, hopefully one day. All right. Yes, there are a lot of lakes, there are a lot of forests, there are a lot of uh, uh, monasteries. They're saying Tanka paintings over there. Oh, yes. So all of this is true. India is a very, very diverse uh, country. We know we have such beautiful, yes. you know, regional uh, and cultural differences between each state. Yeah. Uh, that In fact, it's so beautiful, our country. I think that if you go to one state, each state or each place also that you visit is so different yeah. from the other one you would never yeah, feel like even though they are, they will you might feel like huh, they are similar same only yeah. but they have a lot of difference there will be a lot of differences in the language in the food and as you keep going either east or west or north or south you will see Diversity. some similarities but the it keeps changing you know very slowly it's, it's we will see a drastic difference yes and that's why we call our India as a diverse nation we yeah, have absolutely. so much absolutely Hamara Bharat Mahan! Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, section is about India. Alright, now, okay, my okay. chance, my chance. Now, I don't know what I've got. Let me see what I've got. Okay, shall we change the slide so that huh. I can easily mark whatever I have to mark, yes. which I don't know what I have to mark yet. Okay. Mm. Everyone, you can help us. See, we will be try to give you some hints, right? Or ma'am, of course. So you can mention, ma'am, either move karo, either move karo. Okay, help so us. this that I've got, I know it is. It's a very, very nice uh, place. I haven't been here again. This is on a place. This is one of the places I definitely want to visit. This uh, is the state where you will find the Jagannath Temple. I know. <laughs> okay, let them. Yeah, yeah you all tell me what is it <laughs> now that you have mentioned yeah i can a jagannath temple yes ah, absolutely right not uttarakhand uttarakhand is over not kerala not kerala but we see a lot of the right answers coming up absolutely oh, no. right it is odisha and where do i find odisha odisha is on the eastern side of, yes. of the country so the way that i remember this and maybe this is the way that y'all could also remember this because sometimes maps are a little difficult right so how do we remember it we try to remember it by what is next to this place yeah. so for example how did i remember uh, uttarakhand i remembered it because it was on top of uttar oh, yes. uttar Pradesh. Yeah. Now, this Odisha, I remember because I know that it is very close to uh, Bengal, West yes. Bengal. Yeah. So, if this over here is Bengal, I'm yes. just going to put this down ha, as a P B. over there, which means this over here is Orissa. Odisha. Yes. Yay! Have I got it correct? Yes. Please tell me whether I've got it correct or not. Yes, you got it. Yeah. This, is, this is correct, no? Correct, no? Yes, absolutely right, Vimla. This is Chilka Lake. Uh, Rajeshwari says, I'm from Odisha. Uh, Tanvi says, Tip of Andhra. Wow, different ways to see it. Yes, absolutely yes. correct. Oh, yeah, tip of Andhra. Hmm. Yeah. Absolutely right. Chilka Lake is there. Sun Temple is located over there. It is near Chhattisgarh. 
we already know everything yeah. there's a boat <laughs> race over there absolutely right priyanshi says i'm in odisha now Arigo. okay my god so we talking about nadi also mahanadi yeah, mahanadi very also good. very nice very very nice hey y'all are playing atlas very very well no yes. and they are actually helping us also yeah. okay so whose turn is it mine i uh, yours so we'll move to the next yes and then and uh, i'll pick one now okay <laughs> Oh, this is the easiest one. Easy. Yeah. This is okay. Okay. Easy. So, so give us a. Okay. Okay. Don't tell us. You give us a clue, and then we will guess what it is. Okay. The students and I. Okay. So, okay. This is a state where we have. No. Basically, ha. Huh, this is a state where we have the Asiatic lions. Oh, I know. I know where the Asiatic lion is found. Come on. And there especially is a particular. Okay, can I can I give the name of that of that national park? Gir. <laughs> yes, wrong? everyone. Yes, we see a lot of answers coming up saying Gujarat, Gujarat, very Gujarat. Good. Yeah, so, absolutely right. So Gujarat is the easiest one to remember. It's a very very unique shape it has. Yes, yes, yes. So we have this. It looks like a mouth. Yeah, it looks like a mouth. I always remember it like the mouth of a dragon or a mouth of yes. not really dragon, maybe mouth of a. A bird, like a kind of an or an animal. Like I usually remember as a see as a dog, smiling dog. Actually. Oh, that's a good. That's a good way to remember. Yeah. I always used to say dragon, but yeah, smiling see, dog smiling is a dog nice, is nice way to right? say it. Absolutely, a right. happy dog. Yeah, <laughs> happy dog. See, Ria is also saying dog. Koli is saying dog, and it's very west of the country. Yeah. Correct. So we've actually, if you see, we've done east and west. We've done east. We did uh, Arunachal pr uh, Pradesh, and we've done very west, which is Gujarat. Absolutely yes. right. That's cool. Gir National Park. Is over here. Yes. So Dilip, I also remember it like a dragon. But I like Ankita Ma'am's idea of a smiling dog. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay, okay. Uh, Gulf of Kutch, they say. Yes. Okay, very good. And the Asia. They mentioned. Yeah, they yes. mentioned the capital Gandhi Nagar. Correct. So correct. Correct. Absolutely right. Oh. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, one of them them said that a lion, the mouth of a lion also. Correct, mouth of a lion also. Absolutely. Yes, and it is uh, near Maharashtra. Absolutely right. Very good. Okay, Sabar Mati. Yes, absolutely right. So in our social science uh, lesson, we've yeah. covered Gujarat quite in detail when we spoke about the Dandi March also. Yes. Yeah. We spoke about Gandhi ji starting his salt march from his ashram in Sabar Mati, and he marched all the way to Dandi, and there he broke the salt yes. law. Yes. and if you don't remember it then please go and check out that video on nationalism in india because it is a very important chapter <laughs> super important actually yeah very very important chapter right yes from sabarmati and Absolutely. they mentioned one thing we have the largest statue now there statue That's of unity that's true statue of unity is over there absolutely right correct okay let's move on my turn now yes last oh, one is left okay, the okay. first round first round last yes. shit Okay, everyone. All right, wish me luck, please. Wish me luck. Okay, let's see what it is now. And my chit says, Ah, easy. This is very easy. <laughs> this is very easy. Okay, I'll give you a hint, and this is a personal hint. Okay, uh, maybe you all know, maybe you all don't know. But uh, this has nothing. This has nothing to. I'm not giving you all a, a GK fact. I'm just telling you that this is the state that Ankita, ma'am, and I am in. Right, we are in right now. Oh yeah. We are in this state right <laughs> now. What state are we in? Come on, come on, come on. What state are we in? We are in this state right now. And uh, yeah, yeah, we are in Karnataka. Karnataka. Absolutely right. We are in Karnataka. Karnataka, in fact, had its Founders' Day on the first of November, yes. right? Yes. Uh, so its Founders' Day is first of November. In what year? Nineteen fifty-six. It was founded. Oh, nice. Yeah, nineteen fifty-six, and uh, Karnataka is famous for so many things. It's got some UNESCO uh, sites. Hampi, yes, Hampi, Hampi, yes, yes. Hampi is in uh, Karnataka, and of course we've got uh, the place which is known for IT and edtech, which is Bangalore. Be Bangalore, <laughs> which is where we are. Absolutely nice. Okay, what else? What else can you tell us? There's a national park over here, which I've been to, by the way. It's close to where we are. Uh, it's called Banar Gata National oh, Park. Banar Gata National, National Park. Yes. So yes, and it's got my sword. It's got yes, Tipu Sultan. Absolutely right. Nice. No, a lot. Very good. So a lot of the history when we talk about the uh, different empires that yes. have actually you know Vijayanagara Empire, and then you had uh, you, this Tipu Sultan, of course, yes. and. Uh, 
there's so many interesting yes. things right and but that's true about all our states actually in huh. india right okay great it is the garden city mm -hmm. absolutely right isro correct wow very good okay so you all know quite a bit already and with this we've actually finished Not round one, one. yeah Clap for us, for clap for us, and clap for yourself also. Please come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we should do. See, even 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 our even our team members over here, they are sitting and they are clapping for us because we've done such a good job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So much more. Absolutely. Yeah. Correct. All right. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, shall we move on to round? Yes, round two. Now, so we two. have round two, everyone. Okay. So round two, Ankita, ma'am, is what? This country chain. So okay. of course we were playing the country chain at the beginning, right? But this has a twist. Yeah. What is so, the twist? Please tell me also. What is the twist? So that the team actually have given us different countries' name, and basically have to figure them out based okay. upon the continent. Oh. oh. So means you have to you have to spot a country in that continent. Yes. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated. In yeah. the first one, we were basically just identifying the state. Yes. Okay. So here we have to. They have. They have given us the continent, yeah. and we have to. Uh, we have to mark out also. Yes. So we have to mark it out yes. also. Okay. So you all really have to help us. Okay. Ah, yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll have the word map. I think apart from that, we'll know. We'll we don't know what we'll be Deepla, doing there. Deepla, Deepla says, "I know the whole word map. Thank you very much because then you can help us." Yes. <laughs> That's you very important. You can tell us, ma'am. Right, ma'am. Go. Yeah, on the yeah, left, yeah, yeah. Kare, kare. Go to the right. Go to the left. Go to the right. Go, go top. Go down. Then we'll know. <laughs> Yeah, good idea. Yes, that's a good, good idea. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, Ansh says I have a globe. Okay, so then you can also help us, please. Ah. Chitra Durga. Yeah, Shar says Ch Chitra Durga. Yes, absolutely. Chitra Durga. Do you know that was I was telling yes. you. I was telling you all that we had gone for a picnic the other day, and we were playing Atlas. We were actually on our way back from Chitra Durga. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was very nice, very very nice. Belari, Chikmagaluru, Tumkuru, Tumkuru, Karek. All these are Karnataka. Okay, okay. Ma'am, this round seems more. More exciting, yes. More exciting, and we are a little bit more nervous also. So I'm not ignoring you, Harshit. We can never ignore you. Ah, मतलब it is like it's moving so fast. We can't see sometimes, right? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Shall okay. we start? Shall yes. I pick or shall you pick? Okay, up to you. So we can start, and here we have a word map. Oh no. Okay, hopefully this will work, and let's no, see. No, this is just the world map, I huh. think, right? No, we have to go inside. We have to click. Oh, we have. That's what we have to yes. do. Okay, so I have to then first. See what you got. <clears throat> Then only you'll be able to click on that particular part. Okay, but before we continue, since we're talking about the world, how many countries do we have in the world? I think approximately. Wait, 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 wait! wait. You don't yeah. tell. Let them tell. How many countries do we have in the world? Come on. Very good, Prajakta. Prajakta has given the answer already. No, my answer. Uh, Ansh, Ansh has also said. Yes. Ansh has also said. Okay, I see some answers. Some are saying two hundred, two hundred fifty. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Majority of you have like a very close. Are very close, you, correct? I mean, are very close, and some of you have few, got the correct yes. answer also. We can see that, right? The correct answer is actually, and we we see that some of them have said one ninety five, and some of them have said one ninety three, and actually technically both are kind of correct. Kind of yes. correct, absolutely right. So you can explain. Uh, so we have one ninety five countries. So that those countries, one ninety five countries, are actually with UN, right? They are registered over there, and of course, the everything you know happens. They participate in different conferences, and of course, that's how they are actually getting help from the United States. Sorry, United Nation, and they're working along with that. There are two countries which are not a part of it, but again, they are the countries that we have on planet Earth. One is, of course, the Vatican City, or also called as the Holy See, and the other one is the State of Palestine. Ah, nice. nice. Thank you, Yasha. He says I've got the map also and the globe also. I'm definitely going to help. Very nice. Okay, so my chat over here says. I I see. Okay. Does it Sorry. matter? Sorry. Ankita ma'am. What is this she's seeing the chit that I'm supposed to read? Okay, doesn't matter. Then we're going to Yeah, so curious. then you don't guess, let them guess. Ah, chalo. So, this uh is actually in the continent of Europe. Uh oh. I have to mark out. I think I have to mark it, right? Oh, yeah. so i my answer is a, a place i have to mark out over there but actually y'all tell me Haan, what you i give a hint yes. i'll give a hint and y'all tell me which this place so we know that it is in the continent of europe and this place okay uh, this uh, country basically if you can call it a country is basically something that consists of four countries it's it's it be 
it's a sort um, of like a kingdom well I'm oh, you can, it. <laughs> you're <laughs> being the answer and, and there are four <laughs> countries that are part of this which is england scotland <laughs> a uh, wales and north ireland uh, i have already given the answer you can you can yeah purposely i said it so that you all would guess right yes, but yeah well done well done uk absolutely right now the trick over here is how to mark uk yeah mm. okay so so i think uk uh, is uh, i think this bit over here is uk if i'm not wrong hmm. is it yeah is this correct Is this correct? Is this where all of you who have a globe and a map and all of y'all, please y'all said y'all are going to help. Uh, is this correct in in the general area? Is it, Manju says yes. Chetna's uh, creative life says yes, 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 yes. Yar uh, Aditya Singh says no. Is it? See, most people are saying correct. Yes. But some of them are saying no. Go check your map and your globe, right? See now, how do we know whether it is correct or not? But I know that it is correct. Isn't it correct, yes. Ankita, ma'am? It is. <laughs> it is absolutely correct. Okay, well done, well done, Tanana and uh, uh, Ankita, ma'am, well. also help, yeah. and the students also help. What is the UK known for? Come on, what is the? Are they saying the island above France? So correct. Oh, what yeah. is the UK known for? Come on, you. This the we know. Yeah. We know UK, Brit, the मतलब of course one part of that country. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, UK is what? London, they are saying the Queen, monarchy. Yes. What now, else? Now they mention yes. new PM. In fact, new PM, correct. <laughs> yeah, right. New PM, absolutely right. And if you remember what we learned in history, we when we were talking about uh, nationalism in Europe, yes, we even discussed. how uh, britain of course we were talking about britain at that point in time how they uh, achieved uh, you know how basically they became yeah. liberalism happened over there and uh, how nationalism basically how it became a country at that point in time we also spoke about the uh, disputes between uh, britain yes. and scotland and you know other countries all, that yeah had, yeah yes. act of union all of that was stuff that we've already learned right the sun never sets on the english empire correct oh, yeah. okay right okay okay thames bridge is in london absolutely Big right man. nice nice kohinoor nice kohinoor hira is also there in kohinoor hira is also <laughs> over there correct Big Ben is also there. Are they? They know so much, yeah. Yes. Very good, everyone. Okay. So I think, I, I think, ma'am, they are very clear with the history part. Yeah. And they are clear with the geography part. Yes, so very yes, good. yes. Good, good, good. Well done. Okay. Now, Victoria Museum has Tipu's toy tiger. Correct. Huh. That is also there. Yes, right now, Tipu's tiger is also there. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on to this. To next. So okay. it's my turn again. I think this country is in Europe. That's why we have Europe come map. Okay. And okay. Oh, uh, now I'm, you now you give us a clue and then we'll all guess. It's very um, ha. So I can say that this particular country have um, have importance in the history, right? Many revolutions. Oh, started oh. from <laughs> this. And, uh, and 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 I think the moment she mentioned that a lot of revolutions have started over here, all our social science students over here should know They're exactly different. what she is talking about. <laughs> Nationalism in Europe. We have discussed this so many times that all the possible revolutions started from this one particular place. And it's France. Absolutely right. France is the correct answer. Okay, so, but. Yeah, but, but she has to mark it out. Yeah, but you help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What How else do you, do you know about France? Come on, come on. So many things we've learnt in in nationalism of Europe when we spoke about France. Come on. What French is, fries. French fries. <laughs> French fries. I don't know whether they are actually from France. Yeah. Actually, oh. no, no, nope. uh, they are not. French Revolution. We've learned Very about good. the French Revolution in the Ninth Standard. We've spoken about how all the revolution started and gave rise to nationalism, yes. basically, yeah. uh, in the rest of Europe. So France was actually very, very important. Very important. I think it actually laid the foundation for the revolution and Absolutely. attack on the royal, so that Absolutely. we have the equality. Yeah, and we we learned about uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, He's yes, he's yeah. from France, and then how uh, from there the idea of nationalism spread to so many other uh, 
they were not countries at that point in time not yeah. independent countries but they basically went to those kingdoms then how those people started fighting from their indep- independence against the monarchy and then yes. this whole thing between the uh, liberalists and the con- yes. and the and the conservatives we've done all of this and if you have if you do not remember it please go check out the session on nationalism it's a very important Europe. chapter also it's a very please important sure. chapter we've done this for you actually we've done this for you i think we've done this almost twice for you once we've done it for you as a summary and the other time we've done it for you as a longer session which is broken up into pieces uh, i mean different segments so please definitely go and check out the sessions and that is why we showed you the playlist also please go and check it out they will definitely yeah. find the videos over there right Okay. okay. It has Eiffel. Yeah, it has Eiffel, Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Absolutely right. And they're helping. Yeah, Down they're below helping. UK. Absolutely correct. So this is right. And if you go like this, this is the France. Wow. This is very yeah. easy. Yeah, France is. They're right. It's below UK. In fact, when they had to guess UK, they were saying it's above France. Ha. So then, it's a good way to remember. <laughs> absolutely. Very very nice. Okay. So we have the France. Bharat, nobody is ignoring. Who will do the next chapter? We'll decide based on what is the priority to be put out. But the most important thing is that we are aiming to cover the syllabus for all of you, and that's the most important thing. So we learn happily. Okay. All right. Yes. Let's do this. Come Here on, come we on, go. Come on. I think, ma'am, we have okay. My, okay. I my think. chance. My chance. Ha! I think oh, your no. chance, and I think we will be going to <gasps> moving to some another continent, everyone. Okay. okay, now you tell which continent should come, but of course. Yeah, what do you think is coming next? Because I don't know what's coming next. I don't think it'll be Europe again. I don't think ah, so. Yeah, because we're done. Because I think we came back from the Europe map. Now we. Oh, we have... came. Oh, right, we zoomed out yeah. of the Europe map. So I think it has to be another continent. What do you think? There a lot of them are saying Africa. Some are saying America. Some are saying Asia. What other possibilities are there? <laughs> all are, all are, no, <laughs> Aust- all Australia is also Australia. Australia. Now also they have there. the Australia also. Yeah, Australia is also there. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So let me just pick it up. I'm always nervous when I'm picking up a yes. chair because I don't know what I'm going to get. Okay, <laughs> let's see. And I you have... You give us a hint, we will, we will try to figure it out. Okay, okay, okay. So I have... This time I'm not looking. Okay, okay. So I'll tell you all the continent. The okay. continent is Africa. Oh, okay. okay. The continent is Africa. But we have to zoom in on a place that is in Africa. So let me give you a hint about this place. Let's say that uh, basically uh, uh, important fact about this place could be what that, um, yes, Nelson Mandela is associated with this place. I know the he, name. <laughs> <laughs> Ankita ma'am has already said, he was the first president of this particular place. Yes, I see a lot of answers coming up over there, which say... South Africa! Absolutely correct. Very good, everyone. Very good. Very nicely done. Absolutely right. It is South Africa. Uh, and we have to mark uh, South Africa. What else can you all tell us about South Africa? Come on, tell us. I think this part over here. South Africa is at the south of Africa. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's the easiest one. At the yeah, bottom. Actually, yes. actually, I got a very easy one. This over here is... South Africa, yay! What else can you tell us uh, about South Africa? Gold, absolutely right. What else? Come on, Cape come on, come on, come at on. The Lot of dangerous cricket team, yeah. Dangerous cricket team. <laughs> Gold we spoke of, yes, Pretoria, yes, um, lots of natural resources. Yes. South Africa has a lot of natural resources. What else? They're saying Elon Musk. Oh, Gandhi ji. Cape of Good Hope. Gandhi ji, absolutely right. right. Gandhi ji. Gandhi ji, yes, yes. So uh, we've again learned in nationalism in uh, in India that Gandhi ji, before he came to India in uh, 1915, he was in South Africa at that point yes. in time. Yeah. And then he then he moved to India and you know in in came during the time of the World War, World War One and we discussed all of that. But yes, he was in South Africa before this. Right? Yes. What else do we know about uh, South Africa? Yes, it has three capitals. Yeah, Absolutely that's very right. Good point. Very good point. Very, very good point. What else? Come on. Zulu is a language. Gandhi was pushed out from the train in South Africa, they say. Hmm. Apartheid movement. Yes. No, very no, good, no. yeah. They you know. remember the exact words. Very yeah. good. And there is a very famous um, national park over here, by the way. Very famous. In fact, I've been wanting to go to this national park for a very long time. South Africa. It's called 
Kruger National Park. Kruger. Kruger National Park uh, is yes. Johannesburg is in uh, is in South Africa. Cape Town is in South Africa. Yep. Absolutely right. You have Durban, which is in South Africa. All these places are in uh, South Africa. Kruger. That's K R U G E R. Kruger. Okay then. All right. So uh, yeah. there are a lot of animals over here in this national park, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I think in general, African continent has different great diversity of the animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giraffes yeah. and zebras and rhinos and yeah. A lot of migration actually also yes, happens, happens. Happens from these places over here, right? Okay then, shall we move ahead? Was it my turn or your turn? My turn. Okay, now. okay. Now your now. turn. Okay, we have zoomed oh, out. We've zoomed so, out. We've zoomed out. Okay. <laughs> so Which means have... I think we're moving to another continent only. Okay. Come on, come so, on. We'll check first continent or should I just pick it up? No, pick it up, pick it up, then we'll see. Then we'll see. Okay, now we have to help Ankita ma'am, whatever yes. it is. And okay, yeah. it's, it's very easy. Evolution of human race started in Africa. Absolutely. It's easy. Tell us, tell us what is it? Um Okay, but if I say this, it'll be super easy. Doesn't matter. Um, Some, something should be super easy, no? Everything cannot be difficult also, no? E every exam has easy questions and difficult questions also. So this is now an easy question, okay? Okay, so the easiest, the hint that we have. So the first time, like in extremely, it's, the, oh, okay, let me tell you. It's there in the east. It has the first sunrise in the east and it's known for its technology. Oh, 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 oh. I know, 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 I know. Okay, so obviously here the the continent they they I think they've already they've also got the place by the way. Before they spoke about the continent, also they've got the place. Your hint was so good that everybody knows what the answer is. Yes, absolutely right. It is in Asia and it is Japan. It is called the land of the rising sun. Absolutely right. Correct. And it's famous for a, a, a very famous volcano. Who knows that? Harm. It has. And I know for it anime series. And of course, it's Disneyland. Yes. Japan is Disneyland? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they're very cute Disneyland. Oh, really? I, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know. Mount Fuji, absolutely right. That is the volcano that I was talking about. It was uh, involved even... Japan was even involved in World War Two. Two, yes. And... Unfortunately, yeah. because of that, they suffered. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. In absolutely. That. And it's known for technology. It's known for their culture. It's um, Hiroshima. Right. Yes, Hiroshima, Hiroshima Nagasaki. Nagasaki. Right. Absolutely right. Okay. Yeah. And so I uh, think, yeah, shall we, we move on? Yes. I okay. think. So, last one is for you. So, there's no option. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Please help. Please help you all. <laughs> so, help. I'm playing. <laughs> come on, come on. So let's see, but am I zooming out or... No, no, I think it's oh, the it's same in, thing. Oh, it's in Asia. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So again, okay. I think it's in Asia. So somewhere in Asia. So we already have one hint that it's in Asia, okay? Let us see what this is. Oh, okay, okay. Chal, let me give you a hint. Uh, <clears throat> this place in Asia has... Is known for its highest population. I don't know. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's kind of like a neighboring country to to India also. Hmm. We we share a border in some yeah. places, and uh, I see a lot <laughs> of answers coming up over here. <laughs> right, it is China. Absolutely right. Well China done. It is. Well done. China. Well done. China it is. What are the other things that you can tell us about China? Oh. Okay, now I have to mark China. That is a very big thing I have to oh, do yeah. over here. Okay, one minute. It so looks like a spoon or like a like something that kind of holding pan kind of also. Is this it? Where this? Mm, this one? This one. This one is China? Yeah. Here? Yes. Shall I safely mark it? Yes. China. Is this correct? Yes, this is correct. The okay. big one. All right. Great Wall of China. Absolutely Under right. Russia, huh? They are saying Corona, COVID and all of that. <laughs> now that we don't know. But uh. anyway. Uh, then, what else? What else about China? I think... Yes, Chinese Communist Party, one party rule. We've learned yes, about yes. this, this even in... Uh, this is about to say that history, wale mein you will know. Yeah. It's the oldest Civics. Silk Route also. S oldest Silk Route and Communist Party, uh, they, they had a one party system. Huh. Which was basically, we've learned this in our civics uh, session also. Political parties. Political parties, we've yes. learned about this. Absolutely right. 
uh, Chinese food they are saying. By the way, let me tell you, Chinese food in China is very different from the Chinese food that we get in India. Huh. It tastes very, very spicy. Yeah, ours is, ours is a very <laughs> Indian version of the Chinese food that we get over there. I'm not sure uh, we would... Uh, whether our Indian tastes that like so much spicy food would be able to adjust to so. the, you know, it's quite bland over there, it's very different. Uh, but I'm waiting to go and try it either way. I'm always waiting to go and try. Okay, so I think this is pretty much it. Yeah. I think uh, since the red are done, are done. So I think we have to move on to round three. three. Now I think we're done with all of this. And yeah, okay. we have, yeah, we have 20 more minutes, everyone. How's the energy, everyone in the class? Come on, come, come on. on. What's the energy like? Come on over here. They're saying silk, Mandarin Cantonese, made in China. Yes. Then what else? Silk route be here. Firena says, Tarana ma'am, which foreign countries have you been to? Huh. A lot actually. I've been, I'm very lucky. I've traveled uh, a great deal. I love to travel. That's one of my hobbies actually. Nice. So yeah. I like to go to different places. Uh, China I have not been to. So, no. Yeah. But maybe another time I'll tell you all the different places. You all know that I was just now in Alaska. I've sent you all a video also from there. Right? Okay. Next. Next. Then? Come I on. Think come on come next on. round we have. Let's move okay, on. Yeah, they're asking you questions. But yeah, ma'am will answer those questions after what, this round. What is the question that they're asking? Which food do you like? Oh. Something, something. Now we'll do a separately, separate <laughs> qu session. We'll do like an ask me anything or something where you all can ask us all these questions. Yeah. Okay. Specifically for food, like because I think I have seen food is, they are very foodie. So they'll be like, ma'am, which type of food and what specific dish you tell us? You yeah, like? actually, you know, by by the way, talking about food, we did. Uh, I don't know how many of y'all attended that session. We did a session for Baiju's Excel, huh. which is a program that which is a very good program yes, that we for keep. Food. Uh, yeah. So yesterday we actually had that session. If y'all attended it, it was on culinary, the science behind food. No. Which was such an interesting session. So even the Baiju's Excel, uh, you know, the program, whenever it comes up, please do attend. We have such fantastic concepts over there too. Yes. Right? Okay. Come on. Let's, uh, Kesha says, yes, ma'am, it was superb. So he attended, obviously. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Gungun also said I attended. Nice. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. So last one, the last round we have is monuments and the countries. Okay. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's going to be fun. Monuments, yeah. huh? So, 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 one minute, one minute. So, what do we have to do in this? So, I think, again, we'll be going to the word map and we will pick the chit and then from the chit, from the word map, then we have to go, like, you know, we have to find which country it is. Basically, on the word map, we'll map it. Oh, now that is even more challenging than the previous round. Huh, but I think the good advantage is that they're not asking for the city. I think that would be more challenging. Possibly, yeah, possibly. We just have to find the country. Okay, okay, okay. You okay. help us. Yeah, you better you're help please, us. Please help us, huh? Please, 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 okay? So, Ani says, I've been to China. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, good. Thunder, your point noted. Thank you. All right. What did Thunder say? We have the different things. China. China. Yes. Is different. Nice. Very nice. Okay, okay. Round three. Round Let's three. Let's do this. We have. Okay. So, basically on this word map, ma'am, we have to uh, just point out that which country we have this particular uh, monument. Okay, okay. We'll change the pen color to something darker. Okay, okay. Fine. They are over here. They are all saying. Uh, I saw some things saying Statue of Liberty because the moment we Mount Everest. Because we said Mom, Mount Everest is not a monument. Uh, mo <laughs> no, but actually, it, it could be. It could be. They're not entirely wrong. However, it could because be it could be like place. a it could be yeah. a tourist place. So absolutely, that could be a correct answer. But we don't know whether that's there yes. or not. Right. Okay. And Statue of Liberty, I think, would be the most like Obvious I think that, one. yeah, yeah, I guess, you know, most people will probably say Statue of Liberty, Eiffel Tower, all oh, these sort of things, no? Great Wall of China. Great Wall of China. Taj Mahal. Oh, yeah, correct. Taj Mahal. Right, absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, we never know. Okay, Big Ben, correct. <laughs> Okay, okay. So now all China work. All right, great. Thank you, Pala, for attending yesterday's session. Good. Oh, my, my church yes. first. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to tell you where you can find this this place basically. Ha, so first okay. you will see the name. Then you can give us a hint and then you have to pick the country where it is. I saw it. So what is it that I have to do again? Say. <laughs> you can give us a hint so that we can help you. And then you have to just on the word map you can just point out ke kaha pe country. Okay. So this. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. 
This monument is a very famous monument. You have to guess the monument or you have to guess the place. So I think whichever is easy way. If you if you can tell us the country. I'll tell you the country, you all guess the monument. Haan, okay. This, haan, okay, this okay, is okay. easy. Okay, 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 fine. So this uh, monument is found in, in South America, okay? South, South America, America okay? This part. Okay. So this is found in um, this is, have you made the pen over here? Ha, yes. Yeah. Okay. Ha, this. Right? So this, uh, but this part of uh, South America. Uh, there wants it. Ah, <laughs> Jesus statue, not yes. Statue of Liberty, not Statue of <laughs> Liberty. It is not South America. Statue of Liberty is in New York, that which is North America. Right. Brazil. Brazil, correct, absolutely right. Christ the Redeemer is the correct answer. This is found in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And the interesting thing about this particular monument was that do you know that this monument was actually not built in Brazil itself? Oh. It was actually, uh, you know, built in different pieces and it was built in France, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so it was built it and was then made, shipped. It, it, yeah, it was sort of like built in different pieces and then it was shipped to Brazil and probably assembled there. Oh, nice. It's uh, And this is actually one place I really want to go to to see this oh, monument. See, yeah. Right, right. It right. looks so beautiful, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, they have their football team. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it was a single stone. I think there were pieces that were... Clay yeah, I think kind of made, made later. Um, yeah. and, and then sort of shipped over there. So I'm not sure whether it is single st uh, stone or not. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then I think we're done with this. So I think, yeah, we know the country name. We know the monument name. And we know which, where it is. Now yeah. let's move to the next one and I'll pick. Yeah. Okay. I have, again, we are in the word map. And okay. So now again, you're going to tell us the place and we have to guess ah, the monument. Yes. Okay. Ah, yeah, we're good. I don't know why. It, maybe it's my lucky day. I am getting all the easy one. <laughs> so this... So the, the country that we are looking at, especially the place, you know, the, the monument that we are looking is very, very old. And it's known to have the very earliest civilization also. Ah, I know, I know, right? I know, I know, I know, and I know. And it is very near a river. <laughs> Basically very close to a river and that river is, um, um, again, very huge. I know, I think I already, see they are already saying. Yeah. Even I feel it, is, just tell us, is it correct? Is it the pyramids? Are you talking yes, about yeah. the Nile? We are talking the, about the River pyramids. Nile in Egypt. Yes. Yeah, pyramids of Giza. We have the answer. Right. They are saying Harappan lion. Uh, Harappa is also, very, actually, it's Old true. civilization. It is, yes. it is a very old civilization. It is also based uh, near the river. Near a river, absolutely right. It's a confusing but this, thing. yeah, it could have been. But it is Egypt, absolutely right. Uh, it is, Egypt is known to be one of the, again, Old I think all the three places, Indus Valley civilization, yes. Egyptian and all that. Kind of that, if, the, if we go back into history, they are almost not very far yeah, from each other. Yeah, not very far from each other. Absolutely right, right? Okay, and yes, so pyramids of Egypt and the pyramids of Egypt we know were built for the uh, pharaohs. Yes. At that time the, when you yes. had the pharaohs, I think they were like the, the, the kings basically. They were mummified yeah. basically yeah. and they were put into the uh, into these in, pyramids. In pyramids. And um, did you know, it's a very interesting thing that when these pharaohs were, you know, buried in 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 these pyramids that they used they used to believe in uh, afterlife, in, uh, afterlife. Yes. they used to believe in afterlife so the pharaohs were built with a lot of their uh, sorry buried with a lot of their treasures ha. and things like that basically the small small miniatures of their fellows yeah their and vessels and i have seen vessels. Yes. and not just that even like their the people who they used to have as their servants and things like that were sort of buried in the next room oh nice so it's like at, at least this is what i've heard so it's like very uh, uh, it's fascinating. Yash, yeah. I think I'm scared of these mummies. I, I we have it, seen only the movies. Like yeah, that, we've seen yeah. it in the movies. I actually haven't been here uh, myself. And I do. when you go into, you will just see the pyramids. You ah, can't yeah. really uh, go in, I think. Yeah. Right? We can actually click a picture of them like this. Like see, holding yeah, that. Oh, we're next to the pyramid. Yeah. yeah. And they look really, very small. They look, yeah, they look. Right, right. But they're right. made from big, huge stone. And of course, there's one thing that... If you, I'm sure you must have seen in the documentaries is the signs they used behind to carrying this big, big, massive bricks yeah. and taking it till top. Nah, yeah. Ansh has given a joke saying, I have mummy in my house, my mother. <laughs> I hope your mom is not watching this. <laughs> 
पर इट्स अ फाइनी जोक इट्स अ फाइनी जोक या या राइट ओके जैसे मम्मी आई सो मम्मी प्राजुक्ता से ओके सो दिस वाज गुड दिस वाज लवली ओके ना नेक्स्ट मैम नेक्स्ट नाउ माय टर्न अगेन ओके विश मी लक ओके ओके लेट्स सी लेट्स सी लेट्स सी Oh, I've actually been to this place. Oh. Somebody asked me uh, where all I've traveled. This is one of the places that I've traveled, and this is actually. Uh, let me give you a hint. This uh, monument is in a place where which we covered in the map earlier. Oh, okay. So in the map, this this particular monument is over here. Uh, If we click, oh no, no, we you have no. to pick the country. So the country this? was here. The country was this was France. Yeah, yeah. So they mentioned France. So there's France, but uh, France, they, they, there could be a couple oh, of monuments, ah, monuments over there. They had. So I don't. Not the Eiffel Tower. It's not the Eiffel Tower. What is it? Ah, uh, not the Eiffel Tower. Okay, let me give you another hint about this particular thing. Okay, uh, so it's not the Eiffel Tower. Ah, uh, this particular yeah. me. It's a museum. No, it's not the Notre Dame. Notre Dame is a church over there. This is a museum. And uh, Big Ben and London, which is in London, I'm saying this is in France. Oh, I see some answers over there. Anch and Vanch say it is the Louvre. Louvre Absolutely Museum. right. It is the Louvre Museum, and we can show it to them. Louvre Museum houses a very, very famous painting. Actually, a very famous painting. Who can tell us what is the painting that you have over there? Very, very famous painting. It is a painting of a lady. Yes, yeah, Mona Lisa. Yes, absolutely right. It is the Mona Lisa. And who can tell us who painted the Mona Lisa? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Come on, come on, come on. Who painted the Mona Lisa? It's a very famous painting. Uh, come on, who painted the? Uh, uh, yes, absolutely right. Leonardo da Vinci, Vinci. painted Mona Lisa. Absolutely correct. And this yes. is our monument. Well done. Nice. Very, very well done. And yeah, nice. of course, this museum has um, other works of great artists also. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's also another one called uh, uh, Venus the Mio or Milo oh. or, or something. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But again, lots of uh, works of art. Over here. Very In fact, good. if you ever, if one ever goes to Paris, you can't possibly finish the whole museum in, in like in an oh. hour. It takes so long because there are so many things to see over there. It's a very interesting museum, actually. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. ASR Aditya Singh. No one is ignoring you, bacha. Sometimes the chat is moving so fast we can't see. That's why. Okay. We would never ignore our students. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why? Would Come on. Right. Okay. Next. Okay, I'm picking up. Yes, the seat, the seated scribe. He's saying. Oh yes. Oh, she's saying. Okay, next. So we have the location also. Yes, here we have now. Okay, I will pick. Oh, this is. Okay, let's see. This is very interesting. I would say, it will be difficult for us to find the answer for this. Really? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. So basically, uh, again, it's a continent, right? And of course, we have this. Again, it's not a monument. Monument. It's a natural thing that we have, but this is really very important. Okay, and you want to um, where it is? So yeah, it's here in this beautiful continent near Australia. Australia. And of course, it's, it's not a monument. It's not a monument. It's something really, really natural, and it is very. Ah, because it can't be Everest. If it's Australia, it can't be in Machu Picchu. Also, it cannot be because Australia doesn't have Machu Picchu. Can Everest, I tell you? Everest is also Tibet. It's uh, uh, it's not. Uh, yes, I can. Ah, see. I can see some answers coming up over here. Yes, very good. And of course, like it is kind of have the natural organism at its base. Correct, 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 correct. We can see not Lotus Temple. Lotus Temple is over here in India. This is Australia. So yes, you all are correct. We're talking about it the Great Barrier Reef. It is the Great Barrier Reef. Reef. Absolutely right. And the Great Barrier Reef, uh, Ankita Ma'am, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah. So, of course, when we talk about this reef, right, it's based on the corals. Now, corals, of course, are the living organisms, and of course, they make their homes, and they have this cal. They release the calcium, and they yeah. have this beautiful structure. They're called coral polyps, yes. I think, yes. basically. So and they're they very have a very continuous cycle. It looks like they're right there, no? Yeah, it's just under under the yes, water like and doing it. So cool, yeah! Come on, come on, come on! Let's all go, yeah! Every time I see all these different places, I feel like just going. Yeah, and enjoying everywhere. There. Yeah, scuba diving, absolutely yes. right, absolutely right, correct. 
and more than that like of course apart from this right it has it holds so much importance for the ecosystem also. ecosystem yes. absolutely but i think over a, over over the years because we've not been taking care uh, of of pollution you know, water pollution, pollution yeah. water pollution and all of that we have the great barrier reef which i think is it's it is suffering because yeah. of that right very badly yeah yeah and now it's kind of losing its color also so now it looks very beautiful right now yeah. they actually help the animals you know hide also for both for the prey and for the predator correct correct they correct they can easily camouflage Right. But now with the population as it's uh, sorry pollution as it's increasing, it is affecting this natural ecosystem that we have. Correct, correct. So this is if you take a look at the next painting or uh, oh. picture that we have over here, see how beautiful it looks. Yeah, it's very beautiful. It's though. really beautiful, right? It's like right. I feel like I'm right there in this person scuba diving right there. Okay, Santana. Yes. Okay. I think ma'am, let's information about the Ram Setu. Actually, that's a very interesting question, but I'm not going to give you any information about this now. This is something that you should definitely read up about. Ram Setu is actually a very interesting concept. Uh, yeah. Read up about it, and in fact, read up about it and send us a comment and tell us all about it. It's very very interesting. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next. Here we go. I think we're out of, and of course, I think we'll we'll just slip with. Two. So one is yeah, yours. Yeah, mine or what? So one is yours and one is mine. So let's see. Okay, okay. Now let me see what it is. Ta da! Is it okay. easy? I think it's easy. Hmm. I think it's easy, and so it's like it's like we've travelled all over the world. Now we are coming back to India, oh, India, so to India, India, India. So this is something is that is in India. Okay, uh, again, this is not a man-made monument, hmm. not at all, but it is a natural, uh, a natural, not a man-made monument. Hmm. Taj Mahal is man-made, not a man-made monument. Uh, this is a. Um, it's a natural phenomenon. Hmm. It's a very tall mountain that is present in India. Oh, not Everest. Everest is not in India. Ha, Everest is not in India. Everest is not in India. It, I see idea. an answer there. Oh. I see the answer over there. Absolutely right. Is Correct. It? Yes, 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 it yes. Is. Kanchanjunga K2. Where do we find K2? Who can tell us? Come on. Where do we find K2? Which part of India do we find K2 in? Come on. Where can we find Kanchanjunga? Kanchanjunga Answers. K2. Not Jammu. Nah, I see one correct answer over Sikkim, here. Yes. yes. Not Arunachal. Absolutely not. The correct answer is absolutely right. The correct answer is Sikkim, not Uttarakhand. K2 is in Sikkim. Right. Okay. Nice. Yeah. This nice. is easy and I think nice. the highest yeah. peaks in yeah. India at yeah. least. Nice. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Well done. And so I think there. now we are just left with one. I think but okay. I think it's kind of a giving away the answer I guess. There's some glitch over here. So we have the answer but okay fine. Even it's not though, giving away the answer. Where is it giving them? But we don't have the word map now. So we directly go oh, into that place. But that's probably because it's in the same, same continent. Yeah. Pro, that maybe the world map is not showing because huh. it's in the same. I don't know what you, you've got. Huh, but my assumption over here is that it's probably in, in India continent. if the world, world huh. map is not showing. I think it's in India. I think that's the biggest hint we have. Okay, it's in India. Uh, okay, so Ankita ma'am, is it a monument? Is it a I monument? think uh, when we started with the India, right? Like when we're talking about the Asia continent and of course when we're talking about India, many of you have actually mentioned about it. Oh really? Yeah. What is it? Okay, the biggest hint for this place or this particular place for all of us. Oh, it's a place, about, huh? Yeah, it's, it's a, a place. place. That's yes. the hint. So, okay, so students, which means it's not it's not a man-made monument. Obviously, it's something natural and it's a place, she says. Yeah. So, place in India. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more yes. about it? I think uh, it has amazing forest but those forests are not very normal normal or natural forests that we have uh, they have very something uh, I marshy uh, I mean, very I, good, moment, very good. the moment you said marshy that time only I guessed it and by then I think a whole lot of answers had already come up I think we've already guessed it yes is it the Sundarbans yes it is the oh, Sundarbans yes Sundarbans it is we well done well done of and Sundarbans very important fact is that it's known for Royal Bengal Tiger yes, also. Yes, for the Royal Bengal Tiger. Absolutely right. And it's uh, Sundarbans is basically like a swampy huh. mangrove forest. And yes. who can tell us why mangroves are important? 
Why are mangroves important? Yes, very good, Prem. It has the second largest delta also, where rivers are meeting. Correct. Of course. Correct. Very fertile Correct. soil. Yes, very fertile soil. Why are mangroves important? Mangroves also are very important from an ecological point of view. Yes. When we spoke about the Great Barrier Reef also, yeah. we said that it was important from an uh, ecological point of view. So, we have these, right? And of course, they are the one that, they're in, if like, we are discussing SST, but it has a bio-angle also. Yes. Their roots actually come out from the soil to breathe actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The metaphors. So, we have these roots. Can you, these are the roots and, yeah, to change the pen color, I guess. But, yes, these are over here and, you know, they breathe from it. Yeah. Interesting. So basically, the 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 trees over here survive and thrive in conditions that normal trees would not be able to yes. uh, survive in. Yeah, very salty area. Very very salty salty area. And yes, it is the uh, it is there's a delta region over there. And I think these forests are very important from an ecological point of view because of their ability to store a whole lot of carbon. Yes. Yeah. So this is and actually, if you see, they're known as I think the lungs. Lungs of yes. uh, uh, yeah. of the area, right? Yes. Because it's so green. But again, I think from whatever a little bit I know, because of human activities, we are sort of losing uh, them, we yes. are losing them. So this is something that we sort of um, must take care of, right? They prevent soil erosion. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Yeah. And we call them as tsunami soldiers also because they are so. So basically, they're very tight, like this, like uh, into this soil and if the big waves came they can actually stop the flow really of i didn't know that they were called yeah. tsunami soldiers tsunami soldiers wow they can reduce the water flow really i never heard this before but that's so cool yeah. thank you ankita ma'am for teaching me that because i and it, it gives you such a nice visual right yes. like we are standing up to protect you from any sort of yes. natural calamity always. tsunamis yeah. also yay very nice absolutely right okay cool i think ma'am our chits are done yeah now. chits are done which means it oh, is wow. time to end the session but before we go uh, shall we just quickly give them a few announcements yes very important important everyone uh, so please make sure you register for this amazing quiz master class right you get the next yeah quiz and this is on uh, can they see the uh, yes can they see the date i'm, I'm it's I'm on away, so 30 30th no, of I november so please make sure you register yeah. yourself right yeah the form is there in the description below just click on it fill the form and you are yeah. sorted yeah next of course we have very very important thing ma'am what now, is this Spoken English classes. Why do spoken English classes? This is very, very good. It's a, this is uh, something that I think is a very good opportunity to learn how to speak better, to learn how to communicate better, to learn how to converse in English better and speak more confidently. Yes. So please make sure. Yes, that you register you for it. Register for it. Absolutely right. Um, and then we have again, uh, sort of, sir, and Ankita, ma'am, uh, not Ankita, ma'am, Ashwarya, ma'am, uh, giving us a lovely session called Learn Science the Experiential Way. You can tell them more about uh, it. So, so we learn, right? We learn from a textbook, we learn from the videos, but there is a greater learning as we say, if we do something, if we say something that happens in our, you know, in our daily surrounding and we do it. So these teachers will be helping you to understand science in a very better way. So please make sure to join the class, right? It's on 4th of December, which is a Sunday. Have your breakfast alarms and then join the class. Nice! I'm definitely going to be attending. Yes, very. Huh, I will mean, do. I definitely am going to be attending. Yes. With this, everyone will end our session. Yes. Please make please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Yes. It means a lot to us. When you hit the like button, it means that your way of showing love yes. to our efforts and the hard work. Yes. Was lovely to be with, here with all of you today. Hi Anil, hi all of you. And we will be seeing a whole lot more of you. We've yes. got a lot of things planned up for you. So please stay tuned. And okay. That note. Diamond Creations, happy birthday while we go away. Uh, it's his, it's it's their birthday. Yes, yeah. Okay, that's it. Happy birthday. Happy children. birthday. All right, see you. Bye-bye. Bye everyone. Bye, bye, see you.